TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are live. We are live, so you can join us. We, we, we do a video, we post it, and we still be live. We moving today. Uh, the link to that's down in the description, man. Right this behind, I mean, dang, y'all made me mess up the whole intro. Uh, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. What's this behind me? This is the um, live channel, just in case you don't come. There'll be some highlights here and things of that nature. Don't forget, we do got merch. Everybody who purchased some merch, everything is... Y'all should got y'all should have received it. Appreciate the love. Don't forget we do got a Patreon. We post five days a week. Posted two videos today because I missed yesterday completely. Here and there. Only place I didn't miss was TikTok. And that's because them was previously recorded. The link to all of this is down in the description. Just go down there, hit a uh, link tree. Everything will pop up, man. This is from Skyboy channel uh he finally hit 10k he had 11k now dang he just it's well deserved man he just i feel like he putting in work like he just somebody who wanted to do something and, and got to doing it i salute that type of behavior you know what i'm saying and a lot of people look at sub count they be like oh he ain't doing nothing crazy trust me bro's making documentaries if he's not getting yellow marked he should he in the game <laughs> Anyway, man, this is the Deadly War in South London, Battle of Croydon. Okay. Talk to me, gang life. Here we are. I, which I do not condone. In the second largest London borough, Croydon. Croydon is a borough in South London. As a borough, Croydon has widespread areas of significant social deprivation, with large parts among the country's 20% most deprived areas. Some smaller areas, mainly around Fulton Heath, have been measured as being in the 5% most deprived areas of the whole country. See, Croydon is a town known for its markets and great places to eat. From amazing artisan foods to artsy attractions, Croydon is the perfect place to explore. However, That's what, it be towns like this, like the little ones, the little, the little nooks and crannies of the city. Like this ain't a little town, but like, it be the deprived areas that be having the most culture, the most culture, the most food, the most, you know what I'm saying? To me, it'd be lit, especially in Chicago, it'd be lit. However, underneath all the arts and glamour, Appreciate what you. lies in Croydon is a battle for the borough, a war that has caused a bloodbath in the streets. Today, I'll be diving into many of the gangs which play their part, as well as looking into the politics as to why things are the way they are. Okay, there's a very evident divide in the borough, causing different sets to link up and beef each other. On one side, we have STK, White horse. Y'all know I don't never really pay attention to nobody's gang beefs or gangs in the UK because that ain't none of my business. You feel me? That ain't none of my business. I'll listen to the music. I react to the music. I be I be reacting to what be saying, but I am never jumping y'all beef because I don't care. I appreciate the gift of sub. Where's my notification? Why ain't I see it? Why didn't they pop up? It's tough. Fifth, VP, SBV, and on the other side we have hashtag O, double O, RT, and splash set. Okay, so SDK Whitehorse fifth VP SBV is on one side, and zero O double O RT and splash set is on the other side. And then we have gangs like G Lane and RG who beef gangs from both sides I mentioned. G Lane and RG, y'all just in the middle, man. Y'all some renegades. Y'all do not care. Okay. Thanks to the Google IT support certificate. It's dangerous to be like that. It is what it is. Now, STK is a gang located on Shrublands Estate. They are known for beefing most of Croydon and holding it down. They are part of the LPW Alliance, which stands for Little Patch World. Whitehorse is White a gang located in Whitehorse Road, also CR0 postcode. They are fairly under the radar with only a few members. Now, Fifth is a gang based in South Norwood, SC25. How does that, they are mostly known for. How did that happen? Like you ain't gotta have a member num minimum number of members before you could be 
Named in a video, just curious, you feel me? For their most famous rapper, T-Way, who has made huge strides in the oh. UK jewel scene. They are also part of the LPW Alliance. Now, VP is a gang located in Valley Park, also in the CR0 postcode. Majority of you would have heard of their most famous rapper being SL, who went viral for his dual classic, Gentleman. They also have rappers coming up such as B1 and Ying Yang. SPV is a gang located on Selhurst Estate, SC25. They have a few rappers such as Handy and LK. Now for the other side of the beef, we have Double O, which is a gang located on Fieldway Estate, CR0 postcode. Splash Set is a gang located on Bensham Lane, CR7 postcode. Now Hashtag O is a gang based around Leyden Street, West Croydon. Oh, they are Hashtag O, okay. Mostly known for their older jewel songs by people such as Floss and Tugsy. As for G Lane, it's a gang located in Fulton Heath, CR7 postcode. They are known mostly for their music and descending from the original Croydon set called SMN. Their most famous rapper is Young Fumes, who is a pioneer in the UK wave scene. He also has a track with Lil Durk. I remember that. Now 25 is a gang based in South Norwood, SC25. They are most known for Trap Times 10, who has done big things in the music scene, racking up millions of views and is probably the most successful Croydon drill rapper after SL. Now speaking of 25, a member known as D Rose who ripped them. Hey, when you hear that music get like that, <laughs> we about to get into the nitty gritty. It's about to get real negative in the dock. Would have issues. Now speaking of 25, a member known as D Rose who ripped them would have issues with a few STK members. So much that D Rose and his family would move out of the Croydon area because of this bitter animosity. D Rose, real name being Andre. I did Remy. Salute to their parents, man. Salute to their parents for having the, the brains to get their kid up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me finish before I speak too soon. Was planning to travel back to Croydon to run an errand. His enemies, upon learning that Andre was due to return to Monks Hill's estate, South London, for a visit, would arm themselves and plan a hit. What you got for them? Huh? What you got for them? <laughs> Listen, yeah, tell Monk still on the rest of them, yeah? Money habits, shanking habits, yeah? Watch. <laughs> now, on the 16th of August 2016, STK members travelled to Monk Hill's estate where they spotted Andre, the group carrying knives and a metal pole, chasing him down the street before catching up and launching a brutal attack. They then got into a white vehicle and drove off. Andre fell to the ground where he was stabbed and kicked until he was unconscious. He was taken to a South London hospital, but died later that evening from his... Like I said, salute to the parents for getting them out of there. But see, this is why you don't never go back, especially when you got beef. If you're gone, just be gone. <laughs> don't go back. Appreciate you, WWFC. Injuries. Pre what's up, H? One of the STK members known as Sella attended Croydon University Hospital with knife wounds to his head. When asked by police how he had sustained the injuries, he was uncooperative. Seller was subsequently arrested. Police investigated the murder, found three knives near the scene which had been thrown from the car, while a metal pole was found with Andre's blood on it and Seller's DNA. CCTV footage and clothing comparison also led police to tracing the three suspects. Seller and Mukasa were arrested the day after the incidents and charged with murder. Zawahi was arrested on Sunday, August 21. Rodney Mukasa, 20, and Ali Zawahi, 19, were both handed life hey. sentences at the Old Bailey for the What's murder of the Appreciate the follow. <laughs> Senior old Andre Adiremi. Now, Fabio Sella, 19, was sentenced to 16 years after being convicted of the lesser charge of manslaughter. The three men, all from Croydon, carried out their attack on an aspiring rapper following a long running feud between him and Sella. After the death of Andre, aka D Rose, 25 became known as Rose Gang in his honor. Lately, one way I've been able to help keep my mental health. You know what's crazy, man? When, 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 hold on. What's the priority has been when blocks get named after you and they rename sets after you, that's a, I'm not, I'm just being real with you. That's a W for your ops. That's a, ain't that a W for your ops? I ain't got nothing to do with what's going on. I'm just saying in general, that's a W for your ops. If you got to start naming blocks after your homies, it's tough. 
It's tough out here, man. Stay out of the way. Stay low key. I get the street life, but hey. An unimaginable loss, losing a child. But then one of your son's killers posts a video online from his prison cell seemingly mocking his victim. That's what happened to a mother from Croydon. The boy A books come a long way from skin fades. This is Ali Zahawi, a convicted killer. He's filming himself in prison. Still locked up. You know, it could be worse. It, I could be dead kind of thing. It's like you've actually killed somebody. So, you know, are you like deliberately trying to make a laughing joke out of what you've done to my child? I ain't even gonna lie, bro. You, you, you in jail. You might as well be dead. You in jail, you surrounded by a hundred men, a hundred thousand men all day. Like that ain't, that ain't, you ain't living. You lost your life, D-Rose lost his life, and who's suffering, both of y'all families. Now where did that get you? Um, so I was quite angry and then I got really emotional actually. It got you searching for clout in jail is crazy to me, man. Free the bros though, <laughs> free the bros. He was like crying because why should I still see your face and not see my son? Now a hashtag O member known as Tugsy, real name Akeem Moore, was a 22 year old rapper and father of three, all under four years old. Now on the 7th of October, 2016, in East New Road, Croydon, Tugsy was sat on a grass verge chatting with friends. Suddenly a shooter pulled up and shot him in the head at point blank range, execution style. Police and paramedics rushed to the scene. Hold on, did they get on get out the car? Or where was he on the curb? How did they get <laughs> How they got that much aim is my question. But despite efforts to save You two keep in mind I am not condoning this. These are just the thoughts in my head that I'm having. Execution style. Police and paramedics rushed to the scene, but despite efforts to save the young musician. He was pronounced dead at the scene. R.I.P. Neighbours in a modern estate of family homes described hearing two shots at around 11.25pm, which they at first thought were fireworks, before Mr. Moore's friend cried out for help. A friend was cradling his head in his arms as he bled from a gunshot wound to his temple. The gunman fled the area and remains on the run. The murder remains unsolved till this day. Hey. Now on the 31st of October 2016, an SPV member known as Scotty was set upon by double O men. See, that's the that's the difference. I feel like there's there's K I L L E R's out there, real ones, real steppers. And there's like ones that are like like drunk off clout. You get me? Like, if you drunk off clout, you're gonna get caught because you want everybody to know you did it. R.I.P. though. R.I.P. to everybody, man. Members, Scotty had been with friends in the park in Croydon when Jack Harvey, who was 16, led a group of masked attackers armed with knives, baseball bats, and a screwdriver in selecting Scotty and two other men as their victims. Eight attackers had arrived at the scene in two cars armed with a variety of weapons for the planned attack which just took two minutes. They then drove away. Scotty was left to die in a pool of his own blood having been chased through a pitch black park and stabbed with a screwdriver before having a knife fatally driven into his neck. He was known for his big smile and made friends everywhere he went. The tribute from the family of 22 year old Scott Kuibitra who was stabbed to death in Croydon on Halloween. Today, a week on from his murder, his family visited the place where he was killed to appeal for any witnesses to come forward. Anna O'Neill has been speaking to them. Can you imagine? She went to his of his other son's house. When she reached there around half past eight, they got a phone call saying her son has been killed. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you? Harvey took part in a savage attack in which played the leading role. He selected the victims and gave instructions to his fellow attackers. A court heard. At the time of this horrific crime, he had long left his parents and was living in a secure care juvenile care unit in Wallington. He broke his curfew to travel to Selhurst and commit murder. By that time, he had already amassed 26 criminal charges against him. The path of criminality, which would end in tragedy, was laid out from the start, according to barrister Michael QC, who defended Harvey at the Old Bailey. Harvey's father was in prison from the now convicted killer's earliest childhood 
and the young Harvey was under the care of his mother who drank heavily. Social services would intervene to try and arrange for Harvey's care. At that man ain't, Harvey ain't have no type of home structure, nothing. Father gone, mama alcoholic, not even really taking care of him probably. Doing her best as she can, but you know, she's struggling with, you know, her addictions. Man was just out there growing up, looking for, look, looking for somebody to, you know what I'm saying, cradle him. You know what I'm saying? What's the, that's the word I'm looking for? Hey! Appreciate the follow, man. What going on, y'all? At 10 years old, now released, father came back into the youngster's life when his mother was oh. in turn sent to prison. While living under his roof, Harvey witnessed his drug abusing father smoke crack cocaine in the house. Harvey hey. he was tried and sentenced for his part in the killing alongside 21 year old Charlie o. Rose. Judge Sarah Monroe said Harvey had been exposed to the criminal lifestyle of his parents but did not accept this as an excuse. She sentenced Harvey to 19 years in prison. Charlie Rose was given a minimum life sentence of 25 years in prison. In 2017, G Lane was known as CR7 and they were heavily linked with Valley Park. A 15 year old known as Jets, real name Jermaine, was a part of this link up. Now Jets was an aspiring architect and engineer. On the 8th of August 2017, during the summer holidays, after an evening with friends at a cinema, Jets was ambushed by Mark Hughes of the hashtag O Gang, armed with knives in the Fulton Heath area. Jermaine was stabbed seven times with a fatal wound to the femoral artery of his right thigh. Despite what kind of artery was that, Skyboy? Say it one more time, my boy. Let me hear it. Jermaine was stabbed seven times with a fatal wound to the femoral artery of his. Okay. I thought it was femoral. I could be wrong. I, we, could, we could both be wrong. His right fight. Despite efforts from bystanders and emergency services, Jermaine bled to death and was pronounced dead at the scene. The crime occurred less than 100 yards from his home. Jermaine's death received international attention and opened a conversation on the impact of dual music and the increase of knife crime across London. Jermaine's case was influential since it was one of the first cases to highlight YouTube and dual music as evidence for the murder. After Jermaine's trial, Director of Public Prosecutions Max Hill stated that violent social media posts must be used by music as evidence for the murder. After Jermaine's trial, Director of Public Prosecutions Max Hill stated that violent social media posts must be used by prosecutors to crack down on gangs. Jermaine's death has been a point of reference for calls to ban and sanction music that may initiate a threat of violence. The circumstances of the attack had been predicted in lyrics penned by Junior Simpson, who was also known as the rapper M Trap. Here's how to make over 100 ad creatives in just If there wasn't that video or Sister. those videos posted on YouTube, I highly doubt that Jermaine would be buried right now. He would be here right now. On the 8th of January 2018, the trial for Jermaine's murder so took place at the Old Bailey. Four out of the five you That may be factual. You know what I'm saying? That could be very well factual. But you know, the, the streets gonna be the streets no matter what. Period. Before there was music, there was M's. After there's gonna be music, there's gonna be M's, no matter what. Youths were convicted on the 14th of February, 2018. Adam Benzahi, 21, will serve a minimum of 22 years. Samuel Oliver Rowland, 18, a minimum of 20 years, and Junior Simpson, 17, a minimum of 18 years. Saskia Hay Elliott, 18 of Croydon, was also found guilty, but only of manslaughter, and was sentenced to 12 years and six months. Now remember... I ain't even gonna say nothing, man. How I said CR7 and Valley Park were well linked. 
Well, CR7 members felt Jermaine was abandoned by the Valley Park members present and this is what broke them apart and caused the issues we see between them today. CR7 also became known as G Lane. Little Patch was a fifth gang member and was loved in the Croydon community. Sadly, on the 3rd of April 2018, emergency services were called at 12.03pm on Shadwell Pierhead which is off Glamis Road in Tower Hamlets, East London, to reports of a body seen in the River Thames. Metropolitan Police Officers, Dang. London Ambulance Service Paramedics, and the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. I ain't gonna lie, Croydon was giving it up at one point. Dang. Who attended the location and discovered the body. The body was Little Patch. Who did it is still a mystery. However, S-Town slash STK members and fifth members linked up under Little Patch World and this is how the alliance LPW formed. T-Way gave him a shout out on his song Anglo-Saxon where he says, my little bro P done run up the whole high street, he was an effing captain. Now 17 year old little S, real name Damani Marge, was a kind and loving older brother to his two siblings who he looked like a good kid. looked up to him and loved him. He was a responsible young man who worked for a children's entertainment company. He was an easy going man with many friends who loved and respected him for being funny, kind and supportive. Many people said he was innocent, however others saw him as a white horse affiliate. Now on the 8th of March 2020, Damani was on his way home from work when he was drawn into an altercation with a G Lane member known as Y Dot Grinner on the number 130. That's the crazy thing about gang life man, you really don't gotta be, but if you from these neighborhoods right? And you friends with them, you're an op. You might as well be in. The, you might as well be affiliated because if the ops see you, they see you one time with them. You're one of them. No matter what. Bus in South Norwood at about 8:30 p.m. Damani sadly suffered a knife wound to the neck. A bus passenger performed resuscitation on a victim who collapsed bleeding on the street in front of the Monkey Puzzle Day Nursery in Whitehorse Lane. Police and paramedics arrived but he was pronounced dead at the scene 40 minutes later. The attacker, also 17 years old, was later arrested and charged for his murder. The Old Bailey heard that the defendant was alleged to have tried to snatch Damani's gold coloured chain as the boy lay dying. Given evidence in his defence, the youth had denied intending to kill Damani, claiming it was an accident. He told jurors that he carried a large hunting knife for his own protection and only got it out to warn off Damani, who he had been aware of. Jury deliberated for 27 hours to clear the youth of murder and the lesser alternative charge of manslaughter. The defendant, who cannot be named because of his age, was found guilty only of possessing an offensive weapon. Are you looking to establish your business using an Now did he go make a song about this? An address? He can't cause they'll try him again But you can't be double tried twice can you? Bro says self defense and one Who is his lawyer? His lawyer is, is one piece His lawyer is Baki Goku That's crazy Now Danzi Real name Damari Roy was a White Horse member. He was currently dating a woman who had a very jealous ex boyfriend. Byron Wine, being a jealous ex, plotted on. This the ex? Man, ain't no way. You should have knew. Look at dude here. It's certain signs that the, that the that the universe will give you. Listen, I am not no savior. So wait, hold on, go back, go back for a minute, man, go back. And Danzi, only of possessing an offensive weapon. Now Danzi, real name Damari Roy, was a White Horse member. He was current. He's a White Horse member. He was trying to ride in on that White Horse and save that girl from her bogus ex. And let me hear the story. R.I.P. If that's the case. But. Dating a woman who had a very jealous ex-boyfriend. Byron Wine, being a jealous ex, plotted on Damsey. And in July 2021, Damsey, who was just 16 years old, was attacked as he cycled in Fulton Heath. 
After he was stabbed, Danzi managed to climb into a passing van with the help of those inside. It was they there live? they discovered he had a significant chest injury. He was rushed to hospital, but later died. Byron Wine, 20, of Grenadier Road, Croydon, was arrested in the days after the attack and was later charged with Damari's murder. Now, Croydon Crown Court heard that Wine became motivated by jealousy after Damari became friends with his ex-girlfriend and formed a fatal grudge against the team. He was caught on camera on the back of a moped circling Damari with a knife in his hand before launching the fatal attack. The evidence against Wine was particularly strong. He was on bail for another offence and was wearing an electric tag which not only registered the times he left his home and arrived back again but also pinged every time he passed another house with a tagging device monitor installed. The jury also heard that on the day after the attack, Wine received a call from his ex-partner where he admitted being responsible for stabbing Damari. Byron was found guilty of murder. That's what he told the, he told the girl like he was about she was about to take him back or something. This is not this is not you didn't this is not what year was that? The 1700s where well, you can do a grand duel to win your girl back. Like it's it's over. You got to let it go. I'm tired of hearing dudes beefing about girls like come on, bro. We're not doing that. It's almost 2024. We're not taking that into 2024. There's, there's billions, I'm talking billions of women and billions of dudes out there. Go find another one. Y'all obviously ain't working out. It's over. Mm -hmm. Following a trial at Croydon Crown Court and was sentenced to life with a minimum term of 28 years. Now on the 1st of July 2021, STK member L's real name being Cameron Smith. He was on the Shublin's estate when two splash set members in Ramdat and Jay Luce attacked him, stabbing him a total of eight times with a zombie knife in front of his own mother in their home on Bracken Avenue. The two hey. attack what going on, y'all? These two are genuine savages. I'm not even going to hold you. In front of your moms? They're moving wild. They were arrested and charged for his murder. Judge Michael K. K. C. told the Old Bailey this is yet another harrowing and depressing tale of gang related violence, culminating in a barbaric killing of a young man. He said Smith's mother had desperately tried to ward off the attack. The judge said, in giving evidence, she told the court she was begging attackers to kill her rather than her son. Smith's mother had been left broken hearted by the loss of her only child. Ringleader Roman Lapierre, 20, received a life sentence with a minimum term of 28 years for the murder. Jordan Shuko, 19, of Wembley, was convicted of manslaughter and jailed for 15 years. It's crazy. In America, they both would have got a life sentence <laughs> with a minimum of 50 years. Both of them. Y'all both did it. Y'all together, ain't no manslaughter for one, ain't no murder for one. Y'all both getting the M. Now, YSD, real name Jermaine Cools, was a 14-year-old boy. On the 18th of November 2021, Jermaine Cools was outside a chicken shop near West Croydon Station. It is here where Marcus Walker, an STK member, stabbed him to death with a zombie knife. Marcus Walker, age 17, appeared at the Old Bailey. The court heard Jermaine... Marcus Walker looked like he gonna do something like that. Jermaine had died in a senseless attack. Alright, Peter. Prosecutor Caroline Carberry KC told the court it is clear that Jermaine Cools did not stand a chance. He could offer no resistance, he was unarmed, he was on the floor, and he was totally vulnerable. He was stabbed a total of seven times by Marcus Walker in a senseless attack of extreme. How many ferocity. times? 17? Now Judge Sarah Monroe said Walker had attacked a 14-year-old mercilessly, and the victim must have been terrified and in agony. Showing a lack of remorse, he wrote about the murder in rap lyrics while awaiting trial, saying, Even if the youth was a civilian, I will still rewind and chef his back. The victim's mother, Laureen Dudek, described the failure to deal with Walker's knife carrying habit as a missed opportunity. She then chef his back. The lack of remorse, he wrote about the murder in rap lyrics while awaiting trial. What song is this? I was saying, even if the youth was a civilian, I will still rewind and chef his back. 
RIP to your son, cause dude, dude, your son. Unfortunately, apparently, he never had a chance, cause this dude is a menace. I when I seen him come across the street, when I seen his face, I knew. I knew he didn't care about nobody's life, not even his. The victim's mother, Laureen Dudek, described the failure to deal with Walker's knife carrying habit as a missed opportunity. Laureen. She said had it been addressed earlier, he would not have had the opportunity to go out and kill. <laughs> Young males get caught with a knife, the knife gets confiscated. Within an hour, they get another one from Snapchat or social media. There is no sentence which I can pass which can relieve the pain and loss which you caused. Nothing can bring Jermaine back. No term of years can even begin to compensate for his family's loss. Would you stand up, please? Life with no parole. The sentences I pass upon you are as follows. For the murder, detention at His Majesty's pleasure, the minimum term, before you will be considered for release by the parole board will be one of 19 years. You will not be released when you have served that minimum term. Indeed, you will only ever be released if the parole board consider that you no longer pose a risk of harm to the public. Now G1, real name Tyree. And let's keep it real. He gonna go in jail and be a menace in there too. So he ain't probably, you know what I'm saying? Never, never, you know what I'm saying? Miller was a member of the fifth gang. And on the 4th of April 2023, G1 was on Croydon Road near the junction with Beddington Lane in Mitcham when he was shot dead. Manuel, 19, of Garrett Lane. Kavan Morrison, 18, of Swain Close. Armani McClymon, 20, of Camden Way. Camden Way in Porton Heath, that is. And finally, Denzel Quateng, 20, of Park Way in New Addington. All four men have been charged with the murder of 22-year-old Tyrese Miller and await trial. And this brings me to the end of the sad story of- Oh yeah, good, good. Hey, salute Skyboy, always leaving the main picture so we can get good thumbnails. You feel me? Croydon, as usual, I send my condolences to the family of everyone I mentioned. For real, for real. R.I.P. to all everybody who lost their life, and uh, you know what I'm saying. The streets is the streets is unfair, man. T.L.O. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. They're gone.